morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your condos will pay the bills. But you gotta be quick to get those fills. Follow your plan to keep your pockets thick. If that market gaps up, look for Uncle Rick. Small gap down means it's time for a duck. But if it doesn't set up, then we don't give up. Good morning, everybody. We know why we came here today. Now let's get to it. Yeah. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to today's Zero DTE live stream. Hope all is well. Today is Thursday, October 26th. Got the S&Ps down 10. They were down over 30 before the uh, economic reports came out this morning. NASDAQ down 53. Russell is green, up five, almost six. Dow is pretty much unchanged, slightly red. Gold and silver, slightly red. Notes and bonds, slightly green. Natty gas up a couple percent. Oil down about a half percent. Grains up. Euro and the pound, slightly red. And Bitcoin down one and a half percent. VIX futures are flat, but spot VIX up a little over two and a half percent. So what I've got on my agenda for today is at the open do my Thursday AM ratio iron condor. A zero DTE duck. If it sets up, do some JSPs. I've also got a one, two, and a three, four DTE double calendar that I need to close. Later this morning, the DKS, and then uh, possibly a 10.50 a.m. early quiet lunch. So that's what I've got on my uh, agenda for this morning. Yeah, let's look like looks like we got let's see Waller spoke started speaking 30 minutes ago. That's all I'm seeing. Pending home sales at uh, 9 a.m. so in about 30 minutes. So first thing I'll be doing, buying my longs. And then once the uh, once those get filled, I will enter my shorts of my AM ratio. Then I'll go try to enter a duck, maybe some JSPs. Then I'll close my calendars. Opening bell in 10 seconds. On a rainy, drizzly day here in KC. There's the bell. All right, got filled on my lungs. It's like 65 wide. Yeah, 
have a template for this one set up that wide. Got to do a little maneuvering. Ended up with the 4205s and the 4140s. Probably should have been in the 4210s or 4215s even, but just trying to get in and then price is bouncing. Price has moved up, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in some JSPs here. Trying to sell the 4175 puts filled, 1335. Set up my OCO order here. There's one of them in just a minute here. Price still pushing. SP is only down five. Wasn't quick enough to do my duck before my JSP. So I'm trying to get filled on a duck now. Filled on a duck, 15 wide at 830. That's a big credit. All right. In my AM ratio, in my duck, in my JSPs. Now I got to go close my... Uh, those are my calendars. My one, two is going to be profitable. My three, four is going to be a loser. Build on my one, two yet. I'm 
not build on my three, four yet. Build on my three, four. Get that posted. Build on my one, two. All right, those three, three fours and one twos are posted in the calendar channel. Krish, can you not see my screen? It's right on my screen. All right, so we got S&P still down around 10, pushed up, pulling back a little bit. My AM ratio. Not seeing any decay coming in yet. JSPs, pretty close to where I got into those. So I got all. All my early morning stuff done, so I'm going to take those off my list. All right, S&P's down 13, NASDAQ down 62, Russell up 4. But right back where we opened. Got quite a bounce after the economic report this morning. Coming back down a little bit. When I woke up, S&Ps were down over 30. Now they're down 15. So I noted before the market opened that the expected move was around 31. Krish, what did you have it at? Yeah, 31.4. That's exactly what I had. Now it's at 32 and a half. So it's increased since the market opened. Yeah, I think I did end up doing 65 wide, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, oops, 30, 40, 50, 65. Yeah, I went 65, but I should have been closer to 70, kind of bounced on me before I had a chance.
my Thursday version. Actually, I think I need to change this. I have a uh, my template was for twenty. I got to change that. I've got a wider stop on this Thursday one. Twenty six. There we go. The profit targets are at 50 and 80. Yep. Okay. Those are right. All right. What else is going on, my friends? AM ratio. JSPs. Here's my duck. Twenty percent profit target on my duck is at six dollars and sixty cents. You're one of those last minute procrastinators, Booga. Yeah, that that seems like that seems about like you. Not a lot of planning, not a lot of thought. <laughs> yep. I gather that. Kelvin Q, thoughts on Tim's post about setting up a high VIX up of 4%. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I didn't catch, I didn't catch that. That in the zero DTE channel. Okay, I'll have to look at it later. I'm not sure what he was referring to. All right, some other positions here. Our oil. Getting a little volatility pumped back in it. Got an ES Hedgehog that's up a little bit. Got a couple of MES short strangles. The one that we've had on, I think I'm going to have to roll calls down on this one. So you got into those at 1540. Those are trading at 720. So yeah, right, right around there. I'll give it, give it a little time here. Put on a new strangle in MES yesterday. That one's up a little bit. ZN up a little bit. ZS. Let's see. I think if I get out of 1050, I'll hit profit target here. It's trading at 1162, so not quite there. QQQ. Rut Duck. Put on an SPX duck yesterday. Got a time fly. It's up a little bit. Not to, not to uh, profit target yet. Mm 
VXX verticals. Tiny bit of contraction today so far in VXX. I'll be reloading on some more of those if this thing spikes. Yeah, I tend to be a little less selective, I think, I would say, than Tim, Kelvin. Not that I'm not that I'm right and he's wrong, but it's just more lifestyle, personality. I tend to be more, you know, more trade occurrences, let the probabilities play out as opposed to being more selective with a lot more filters and things like that. So you just got to decide what's what's a better fit for you. Next, open the day up, up near 22, back down to 20.74. VIX futures are flat. What are we going to do today, boys and girls? Had that little overnight flush and we bounced after the data. Are we, we going to continue this bounce or are we going to continue falling? I kind of think we're going to keep going down, but just a hunch. Nothing more than a hunch. Pretty tight range so far. A 12, 13 point range in SPX. Coming back down to the low end of that. Yeah, I mean, I would prefer a bounce based on where I'm positioned right now with all my different trades and positions, especially portfolio margin positions, but not sure if we're going to get it today. Volatility creeping up. Meta had earnings. Closed yesterday around three, just under 300. It's down to 281 and falling.
on the sector front, pretty split. Energy up, metals up, healthcare, no, excuse me, down. Energy down, metals down, tech and healthcare slightly red, retail pretty unchanged. Regional banks up big, real estate up, semiconductors up, biotech up, financials up. Meta down six and a half percent. DraftKings down four percent. Google down two and a half percent. Roku down two and a half. Amazon down over two. Tesla down two. Lulu down two. Microsoft down one and a half. Microsoft is about to overtake Apple as the biggest company in the universe. We're about six percent away. Quietly creeping on Apple. NVIDIA down a little bit. IBM up 3.5%. Square up 2%. Pfizer up 1.5%. Bob up Tesla has been getting beat up a little bit since their earnings. Microsoft popped after earnings, but has been coming down. SPX trying to break below its little 13 point range. Down over 20, over 21 now. I did. I posted those above, Mauro. I'm in the 4175s. Got a little decay coming in on the AM ratio. Yeah, I had my filter on JSPs to enter after the markets moved up 0.05% above the open, which it did. And then immediately came down.
Let's see what else here. I've got a, uh, I've got my single put calendar in SPX that I hedged with a vertical. That helped a little bit. So if I had not done that, I'd be down, down a few hundred. With the hedge, I'm up a little bit. Well, not sure exactly where it's trading at, but definitely helped. SPX coming down. Russell's still green, getting some help from those regional banks. NASDAQ down a full percent. S&P down about a half percent. All right, my friends, I'm going to jump off here, take care of some other stuff. Uh, I'll be doing the DKS here in about 30 minutes, 25 minutes, and then possibly a 10.50 a.m. quiet lunch if it's quiet. All right, guys, we'll be back for Power Hour Live. Everybody have a good rest of your day. Talk to you soon.